हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू ड्रॉ द पैराबोला बाय यूजिंग द एसेंटिसिटी मेथड और जनरल मेथड हियर रफली आई डिड वन पैराबोला एंड दिस इज एक्सिस फॉर दिस कर एंड देन इट हैज़ वन फिक्सड पॉइंट फॉर दिस कर इट इज कॉल्ड फोकस एंड इट हैज़ वन फिक्सड स्ट्रेट लाइन इट इज कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट्रिक्स ओके सी इज द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ डायरेक्ट्रिक्स एंड एक्सिस एंड वी इज़ वन ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ द पैराबोला ऑन द एक्सिस सो लेट एस टेक द गिवेन क्वेश्चन ड्रॉ ए पैराबोला वेन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इट्स फोकस एंड डायरेक्ट्रिक्स इज फिफ्टी एम एम सो दिस इज द फोकस दिस इज द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू इज फिफ्टी एम एम दैट इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर ऑल्सो ड्रॉ टैंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल एट ए पॉइंट सेवेंटी एम एम फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स सो आफ्टर डूइंग दिस कर वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द नॉर्मल एंड टैंजेंट टू दिस कर इनिशियली वी हैव टू टेक एसेंट्रिसिटी बिकॉज वी आर फॉलोइंग एसेंट्रिसिटी मेथड हियर In this eccentricity method, e value is not given for parabola. So always remember for parabola, e is one. Eccentricity is one. Eccentricity it is equal to it has one formula. The distance from the point on the parabola to the focus that is v f to the distance of the point on the parabola to the directrix that is v c. Okay, this is called eccentricity. So it is the ratio of the distances from point to focus to the point to the directrix. so this value for parabola is 1 the meaning is vf from this equation vf is equal to vc in this equation the meaning is whatever vf distance is same it is equal to vc so v is a middle point let us do this parabola by using the instruments first do the directrix i am taking directrix length we can take any length if it is not given i am taking here 10 cm do one vertical line and uh, mark the middle point which is a c so in 10 cm at 5 mark c point i am giving the directrix name a b at the end mark any alphabets okay at c do the axis line as we know axis line is perpendicular to this directrix so take 90 degrees do some length here and after getting the axis mark c of distance it is 5 cm so this is a f point now after that mark v point as we know v is a middle point of cf okay so from c take 2.5 cm cv is equal to 2.5 and vf is also 2.5 so total is 5 cm take the middle point mark this point is v point after getting v point at we do the vertical line so for vertical parallel lines i am using the roller scale just do some length here and uh, mark this distance v of distance just do an arc here and extend up to this line take this intersection point is capital e point join ce and extend that line after getting this line for doing the parabola mark some points on the axis we can take 3 or 4 or 5 points and we can take equal distance or unequal distance points i am taking equal distance points from b take some radius by using compass just mark one point okay first point this has center mark the second point this has center mark the third point this has center mark the fourth point and give numbering for this 1 2 3 4 so after getting these points do the vertical lines at the, all these points these vertical lines should touch this inclined line now i'm taking this roller scale for doing the vertical parallel lines staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door voices in her head that mirror what she's heard before all the things i said to hold her back they never seem to leave her head and tend to keep her mind at war All the things I said to 
After getting these points, take one one dash radius by using the compass. Left fast center. Just do a knot on the first line at both sides of the first line. Mark the points, intersection points. P1 dash. This point is P1. Take next radius is 2 2 dash. Left fast center. Just draw an arc on the 2 2 dash line on both sides. Give the intersection points here P2 dash and this point is P2. Our next radius is 3 3 dash. FS center. Draw an arc on the 3 dash and third line. So on the third line. Okay. So give the names. This is P3 and this one is P3 dash. Radius is 4 4 dash. We're using the compass radius FS center. Draw an arc on the 4 dash. This. Here we'll get P4 point and here we are getting the P4 dash point. If you join all these P dash points through V and this P1, P2, P3, P4 points, we'll get the parabola. Let us do. For joining these points, I'm using the French curve. So by using it, we can do quickly. First, I will join these points. Make sure all points should come on this curve. Okay, this side also I will do with this curve. For joining this part, take the again French curve. Just join this point to this point. And here, do the remaining curve. So this is the parabola by using the general method or eccentricity method. So you need for this curve. For this parabola, we have to draw a tangent and normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix. We have to take one point on the parabola. This point is 7 cm from the directrix. Mark this point capital P on the parabola. So this P point should be 70 mm from the directrix. Just extend the directrix. From this directrix, the distance of the point on the curve is 70 mm. So take by using this roller scale. So it is initial at 0. Just tilt the scale in upper direction and check where 7 cm is coming on the curve. So here it is coming on the curve. So mark this point on the curve. Okay, this is a P point. So at this P point we have to do normal and tangent. After marking P point, join PF, okay, join with the focus. So do one perpendicular line at F to this PF line. So at F point, I am doing the perpendicular to this line, FP line. This line should coincide with FP. Take 90 degrees point here. So join F to this point direction up to this directrix. Now in this direction from F do the line up to this point. Okay. I am taking this point is T dash. After getting T dash, join T dash and B. It is a tangent. T dash and T is the tangent. Do the normal. Normal is perpendicular to the tangent. At P point, 
keep this line should coincide with the tangent at the p point so this is coincide with tt dash at p take 90 degrees join p and this point it is the normal just in this direction i am taking some length it is i am giving name n dash and n and the angle between normal and tangent is 90 degrees you can write n n dash is perpendicular to t t dash so this is t dash t is the tangent and uh, n dash n is the normal and here mark the given dimensions 70 and 50 outside the given diagram this is the method of doing the parabola by using the aesthetic method or general method